All right, so here's a little look at Google Earth on the iPad. This is Bishop, California, and I know that later in July I'm going to be taking a hiking trip in the Sierras right here near Lake Sabrina. So I can zoom right in to the lake, and I know that I'm going to be coming up here into these lakes right here, and I know that the trail goes this way, so I'm going to spin it around so I can see what I'll see going up the trail. And with two fingers, you can tilt the whole map down until you have a horizon. And then you can zoom in with two fingers and really see. So I know the trail's going to start there, and we're going to come up here. So you can really see right through these lakes right here. And I know that probably I'm going to try to camp in here somewhere, and maybe even as high as this lake. But my guess is there won't be a lot of flat space there because it hits the mountain. Also, I can see that this ridge right here is pretty uh, pretty gradual, so I could probably easily scramble up this for some pretty awesome views from that point and even hike along this ridge if I wanted to. And then I know we'll come down here and come back up through this pass or through this little canyon right here. we got some more little lakes right in here, and then we'll probably camp somewhere in here. And so I can take a look at that. The two-finger um, interface is much more intuitive than on a computer. You can tilt up or down when you put two there, and you can zoom and pan with two fingers, so it's a very minority report. It uh, is very, very cool. You can really see the whole terrain, and it'll redraw for you. So I know I'm going to be hiking right back down here, right back down through there to the lake, and my car will be parked right there. So it's uh, incredibly powerful and really cool to be able to see the hike you're going on before you uh before you get there before you're able to do it so cool